It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Boom. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to another weekly show of Dad's Lads and Kebabs. Mickey boy, how you doing? Oh, mate. Oh, geezer. Oh, mate. Oh, mate. How are we going? Yeah, good. Good. You good? Yes. This this week has ended better than last week. So. Oh, oh do tell. Do tell. Yes, the, rain, the rain has stopped. We had sunshine oh, all day. Oh, Hallelujah. The rain. <laughs> oh sorry man. it's been a it's been a wet week ain't it for sure well it did come again at the weekend yeah it carried on monday tuesday wednesday until like one o'clock i didn't even expect that i got fucking soaked again and that's yeah. this that's this week's weather people <laughs> yeah oh, fucking hell it's been a it's been a it's been a week it's been a week yeah i don't like this rain don't but... like the wet soggy weather not when I'm busy anyway, because I don't have a choice. I'm just going to get soaked. I'm busy. I've got shit to do, mate. <laughs> no, uh, I am. I, I, to be honest, I've had a pretty. I've had a week. Do you know a week that just goes like that? Just yeah. a, a non eventful week. A generic I did, week. I did 5K on a Monday. Why? I, I just did 5K. Five. Did 5k on Monday evening, Monday afternoon slash evening. Mm. Due, by Monday evening, couldn't walk. <laughs> Could not walk. And I mean like treadmill, 5k, fasting as well. So I had no food in me mm. um, and got off. Felt fine. Literally fine. Got all the way to the car, sat down and my feet went couldn't feel my feet well they went numb yeah i think it was just continuous i'm good at that i'm good at being in a oh if i start something and i've and i've got a goal and my goal was basically do an hour and a half at pace not like not trying to like fucking speed ahead but just at a steady pace and then i did a gradual uphill incline walk Mm. um mate couldn't walk for two days. I can still feel it now in the balls of my feet. I think I have like arched feet. Yeah, I have them. I've, I've got these inner soles that are quite good. What they, they fill the gap? Plantar fallacies or something like that? No, that's not arched feet. That's where you get issues, and your your muscles are tightening more than your uh, Achilles is letting the space. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I you that can, then. yeah and it's it's tightening. Yeah, my feet tight after it's pulling back, so you can't. There's not the movement anymore. Yeah, we used to get that before. Uh, you can get these little like balls on the little rod thing. You just grind your your feet over. Yeah, and also I... that that gun. You got me. The massage gun. They're good for in your got... in your arches. I need to use it. And yeah, because I was, I was killer. So I've been this week. I've been trying to do two things. So I was trying to do more cardio because I haven't really been doing a lot of cardio for a long time. Like I do everyday walking, but not to the point where, you know, I'm a physical exertion. So I've been trying to do that. Mm-hmm. But then I'm also trying to do sort of hit workouts, which is sort of high intensity dumbbell yeah. movement. Um, just repeat wow. And it's been good. Like, I don't, don't get me wrong. Fucking what? Three times. I've only done three, three times this week since saturday because it's saturday i did saturday morning in the gym turns out it's mm-hmm. not a bad bad thing to go saturday morning because it is dead mm-hmm. so i did saturday morning i did monday and then i did at home yesterday Ooh. and it was um it was all right i suppose that's that's, that's part of the interesting part of my week i haven't really done much i might i might get back to the gym next year depending next on my year. arm and on the old, the I old do miss the arm. Room. You miss the arm, or you miss the uh, gym? The gym, I mean. <laughs> I miss having an arm that fucking works. I tell you that. I don't yeah. miss it, and I was going to talk about it today because obviously, I, I want to talk to you about it because obviously, you know, talk about our differences, and that would lead me on to today's topic. Now, in my eyes, I think you are a very, 
to your quiet person, mm-hmm. I'd say you are, you know, you keep yourself to yourself. You, you enjoy your own company. Um, and I don't know, I get the vibe, but you just don't give a shit. Like you're, just, you're not, uh, no, I don't. you don't care what people think. You've got no time for Oh no, no. people outside your circle. What kind of, obviously, you know, would you say you would you say you're an introvert or an extrovert? Oh, definitely an introvert. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Describe you, like in terms of what what you know. I don't know. Just describe you in terms of how your thought process is in terms of what you think about others' conversations. Have you got time for them? Or yeah, if I, if I'm doing something, I need to know what the outcome is. Mm-hmm. Uh, the end goal. Uh, that's that's why quite often I don't go pubs and stuff like that because I can't control I can't control the situation. Uh, there's an expectation when you go to a pub and you have a drink, you know, there's certain things which I do not like. Um, maybe maybe it's from from past experiences that is sort of like a PTSD sort of thing. Maybe mm-hmm. that I think it's, a little bit of that is involved in my thought process. But yeah, this what, this. Well, obviously, you know, obviously you chose. We we sort of touched on this last week, but you you chose who you are as a person, right? You chose. I'm not. You know, I'm not a pub club person. I'm not a party all night, stay up. I've got. Better I used to be. Like in my mid twenties, yeah, all the time, but. No, once when I hit, change? definitely changed within the last three years. Definitely the hardcore version of myself when I've had the freedom to do what I want mm-hmm. rather than being expected to do other things uh, in previous situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how do you uh, feel about that? How do you feel about how do you feel about doing other things uh, other people's expectations how does that make you feel are you does that annoy you that the fact that someone else expects you to be a certain way or to do something that you couldn't quite ask me doing when when i'm when i'm doing it or it's 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 very frustrating it's like you're trapped and you can't get out and it's like you can scream but no one hears you obviously not not physically talking i can talk if i want to you know but you're in a room Uh, full of people that you don't really want to talk to or in a situation i don't want to be in but it's difficult for me to say something yeah yeah, that that will oppose being there i think let's just you know put it as 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 plain and simple as it can be you don't have to go into depth but i think obviously we know We've all felt like that once upon a time, whether that be work, home, anything, where you or even just people that you don't like. Can you say someone's having a conversation with you and they are literally, they're just talking to you about something you could not give a fuck about? Yeah. Do you listen and you respond or do you just sort of like, mm, mm? I do. I try, I try and be respectful. Depends who they are. I mean, if I don't know them, I ain't fucking listening. But if it's uh, someone at work or someone I know and I've just met, I see it in Western Fave or Tesco or something and just, oh, you're right, and we have a chat and it's like, mm, yeah, I try and find words that I like and think, oh, yeah, just out of being nice. Like, I couldn't give a fuck most no. of the time. Um, that's not that's nothing do. personal. That's not horrible to that specific, per- specific person. It's just that I don't want to talk about that subject. It doesn't interest me. And I know that's really bad, but I do think the last three years I have, like I said, got freedom and all the situations I've been in over the years, maybe it has rushed me forward in an extreme version of myself, whereas it might have taken a lot longer to reach where I am now, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really don't. I really don't know. But But then at the point where you're at now, Obviously, yeah. you've, you've gone through the stages of being who you don't want to be, who you have to be, and who, and now you've kind of you've broke out the other side of that. So now you've got a clear vision of who Mickey is, 
you know, like, this yes. is what I want to do. I've got no time for your bullshit. I will not be spoken to like shit. I will not conform to something I don't want to do. Does that make you feel sort of, actually, do you know what? I am in control of my own moods. Yeah, I'm very happy. So, mm-hmm. Yes, very, very much so. Very in control. Very uh, ready to try. I do try and do things that are out of my comfort zone. It is difficult sometimes. And mm-hmm. I do think oh, I should really do that. Because quite often when I do it, it's all right, it's all right in the end. I think, oh, that was all right. I enjoy- quite enjoyed that. But I don't like putting myself in that situation first because then I, I think about it too much beforehand. It's better if you just say, right, we're going to go do this now. And I'm like, uh, oh, okay. I'll be normally okay with that for mm-hmm. a while. But if you say, oh, on Friday, we got this, we're going to do this at this time. This is going to happen. And for me, I'll be like, oh, like it's hassle. I hate yeah. having things on the horizon that I don't want to do. Because then I think about it and then I get out. On the day, I'm fucking miserable. I won't, I'm really, like, you know, when, when someone's cold with you, Yes. I'll be like that, even with a person that I'm going somewhere to do that with or whatever. Because you just, you've got no... I don't want to be there, green, no. You don't it's want to like, interest, yeah. Yeah, I've got the negativity is taken over and it's surrounding me and kind that's of like in the way. You, um, kind of like your your motorway situation where you ended up at the wrong place at the wrong yeah. time. That, yeah, the wrong side, yeah. You were so wound up with yourself that it took an impact on that day. If for a long time, yeah. Yeah. It took yeah, a definitely. massive impact. For a few hours. Instantly, because you were like, I've I'm, I'm, I'm fucked up, I'm done. Like, And that was sort of my fault as well. So, Do you, do was... you think that you... Do you, do you think you sort of self-loathe about that? Like, do you feel like... Do you have times of self-loathing where you're just annoyed at yourself or you're just unhappy with your fucking self and what you've decided to do yeah I'll give you an example last Tuesday well this won't matter in podcast world what day the fuck it is anyway I come home from work and I was didn't have plans that day wasn't filming wasn't seeing anybody wasn't seeing kids wasn't going anywhere so I just I just sat on my bed watching telly yeah from like four o'clock and I was fucking miserable I had no idea why I was miserable absolutely no idea why I was just sitting there watching telly and then I thought oh I'll get changed soon I had dinner like 8 o'clock <laughs> and I've been home some, just after 4 it's like fuck's sake and I was just I don't know I haven't had one of them days in a long time but I couldn't tell you why and I was just thinking you know when you're sinking in the in the mud and you're getting deeper and deeper and it's like yeah I'm not coming out today do you at that point when you feel like that if somebody said to you like, do you want to sit in the mud by yourself or do you want somebody to pull you out of it and say, ah, oh, come on, it's not bad? No, no, I, I want to stay in the mud on my own. You want to pull, yeah, see. Yeah, I have to. I get that because you, you've got to, you've got to be like, listen, this is my reason. I'm upset for my own reason. Do you know, like, <laughs> I think, obviously, I feel like it's about my body a lot, but do you know when you feel fat, you feel like, you, you catch an angle of yourself and you're like, I feel fucking shit. I fucking I look like shit. I feel like shit. Some days I'll feel fine. I'll think, oh, you look good. You're good. But some days I'll, I'll look at my body and go, oh, fuck out, you fat bastard. And I will put myself in that position, and I would not expect anyone to say, nah, you're not fat, because that would piss me off even more. Yeah, you think you're lying, bastard. <laughs> I'll be like, don't fucking lie to me. You don't know my body. But it, it's yeah, my fat. I get, I get. <laughs> but the same as self loathing. If, if I do something wrong. Say if I'm doing something, or and I know I can physically do it, and then I do it wrong, I'll get so angry with myself. Mm. And then you take it out on everybody else. I try not to, but the thing is, I should. My well, not not take it out like in a moany way, but you yeah, just yeah. you're just a bit cold and a bit offish. People, yeah, people aren't yeah. getting people aren't getting normal me because they're yes, getting, yes, they're yes. getting pissed off yeah. me. Quiet, you get quiet, Nile. Whereas, yeah. yeah, my obviously my wife says that. What I do is when we, when I, when you know, when we're, when we're rowing or we're doing something wrong or whatever, or we're, you know, we're having, we've had a tiff or whatever. My defence mechanism is to shut down. 
I don't I don't argue, I don't shout. Women, women hate that. <laughs> they want to they want you to bite. <laughs> can I get that? Some people some people do come some people find, you know, an explosive man, you know, more you know, more dominant than but my defence mechanism is simply shut down. I won't say anything, I won't do anything, I don't get angry, I don't shout. I it's do not, that. It's not in me. To, it's not in me to be like that because I feel like you could I know I think like you said, a bit of bit of trauma maybe, a bit of fucking childhood. But I always feel like you could say the worst things when you're angry. Things that you don't necessarily mean, but you say them because you're, or it's is venom, it the or is it the truth? Uh, I say that it, when you're drunk, you tell the truth. Yeah, you say, so, you say the, the things man, that you're scared to say when you're sober. The drunk man's words are a sober man's thoughts. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, oh yeah, because it's what you think, but I don't, I don't like. I don't like being unhappy. I don't like I, it. puts me It puts me in a bad spin. But then at the same time, I don't like confrontation either. I'm not. I used to be like ten years ago. No, sort of like eight, ten years ago. Niall was an extrovert. I was loud. I was proud. Well, I, yeah. I would talk to absolutely anyone. I still would talk to anybody. But I learn now to be. You don't need to be loud anymore. This is not your time. Back away. <laughs> you know, not everybody needs to know that you're in the room. Whereas right now, I'm like, my my thing now is like, get me out of the room. I don't want to be around people. Whereas, do you know what? Do you know what the most powerful weapon is? Saying nothing. Silence. Oh, yeah. That is your ultimate weapon. Be the, the be the quietest person in the room when you're having a row. Silence. When you're upset with people or situations. Silence. You get abused publicly on social media or at work or whatever. Silence. Bugs people, don't it? Yeah, it also, it also stops you lowering yourself to their level. Also stops you saying something you shouldn't that you might get in trouble for and regret in the future. Mm -hmm. Like you say. And oh, yeah. If, if, if somebody paints you out to be something and then, you know, Mickey's aggressive. He's constantly aggressive. He's constantly angry and shouting. And then all of a sudden, you've heard it one too many times, and you snap. They'll go, "See, told there you go." Yeah, like I get it. Yeah, yeah. But that thing is, that's, I know that's not me because I can't be loud. You know, I can be loud at myself, or if I, if you know, if I stub my toe, or you know, if I'm cleaning something, I'm, I tell you what, that's my anger. My anger is cleaning. <laughs> and cleaning I, I don't at three a.m. <laughs> My, my wife knows it. She knows. She she knows straight away when I'm in a mood or when I'm you know upset about something. All I'll do is I will profusely clean everything. I will do washing, hoover the floors, mop the floors, clean all the cupboards out, start making the beds, fold up washing, and my house will be spotless within about an hour and a half. Because yes. that's that's my because once I've finished it, I'm out of that slump. And I've cleaned my house. Yeah, that, that's my that's my <laughs> bonus. <laughs> so, I was going to say, what about what about say if you're out with a group of people, they're not necessarily your people. Do you feel like you have to speak? Like, do you like because you were saying about silence a second ago? Do you feel like you could just sit there silent? In the or past, you... in the past, that would have been my nightmare. Whereas I have to feel gaps, I have to feel silences, bullshit, small talk. Oh uh, yeah. Oh look at the silent. weather. It's like, oh it's the cold, silent. isn't it? Shit the like that. Make you feel awkward. But you now, mean? now I fucking love it. I just sit there knowing that I am happy being silent because I don't want to talk and I have no issue with not talking. Now What about what that... people think of you in that moment though? What do you care about that? No. Like, do you care if like someone's like, "Fuck me, is he miserable or something?" Because if they know, if they know me, they'll know what I am, and they go. Moaning Mickey is back. <laughs> no. Well, no, that'd be the opposite, wouldn't it? So. No, yeah. I, yeah <laughs> I, I, I find it hard to be. I find it hard to be quiet 
like in silence not no. personally I, myself i can be silent if i'm annoyed and whatever i'll do that but stay if i'm with other people and then do you know like do you know when, a con- when loads of people are talking and all of a sudden the conversation stops and the whole room just goes quiet i hate that moment i'm like yeah. oh shall I, shall I say something because it's all gone a bit quiet and i feel a bit weird and no one else is saying anything See, I, I like it when lots of people are talking or conversations are there and I can just listen. For me, oh. that's brilliant. I like to listen. I don't like to get involved as much, depending on what it is, the topic. If it's something I'm passionate about, then obviously I will get involved and I'll enjoy getting involved. But if it's nothing that... I'm not just going to chat for no reason. It's pointless. It's uh, Now, I like I say, I've totally changed in the last three years. Mm. A full... I, feel, I feel like a lot of yeah. men though have gone through your stage of life mm. because some men don't see the positive sides to being on your own you know having mm. living off your own steam and doing what you want to do and some like some I know personally for me I need to be driven I've got to have things going on. I know, I didn't used to, and that's kind of been you know brought into me. But I need to know what I'm doing. I need to know. I can't. I used to be so free reign, like I had no plans. You know, someone could invite me to a wedding. I might show up. I might not. You know, I didn't care. Mm. And, and now the problem is, is I don't care even more now because I just don't care. Like I'm like. You know, like, you know, oh, you, you know, that was a bit that, that was a bit out of order what you said. Okay, it was a bit out of order what I said. Or you know, you should probably go and see, you should probably go and see them or go and do something. And I'm like, <laughs> no, I shouldn't. I don't need to. No. Like, I don't. I've just got this thing now where I'm like, I've spent so long thinking, how can I better the world in in my own way, not in a massive way, but in my own way. That I'm going. Yeah, just carry on doing what you're doing in your own way, but you know, don't give don't give everybody your everything because they don't care about your everything. Do you think you learn off other people? What you see, <laughs> the situations people go through, and you think, okay, that wasn't good. Yeah, I'll try hence and adapt why, myself for that. Hence why I am not a drinker. Mm. Because, and I'll tell you, what, I'll tell you why. I think I've told you before, but the reason why I don't drink, or you know. I've had, I'll have a beer or whatever. Yeah. The reason why I don't like drinking, being around drinkers, because when I worked in a pub, oh uh, yeah. yeah, I would see people come in and they would look the best. They would have a nice evening. They would sit and have a sit and have a meal, whether it be romantic or with friends. And then as the because I, I would start I'd start at six and not finish till three in the morning, and the same people that came in happy night having a nice evening they changed mm. and the more and more they drunk the more their vision just got smaller and everything was everything was shit and i would see the same people crying fighting arguing like you know and it's like i feel like, i don't know i feel like drinks like pouring darkness over t- over your eyes yeah i feel like it it makes people the worst people like nothing good happens when you're drunk um I, you know and i hate the mm. thought of, i hate the thought of when i used to see people and i'd be like you've come in now and you've spent so much money and you are not going to remember any of this tomorrow you're just going <laughs> to be pissed off skin and you've said things that you probably shouldn't have said I don't know. That was always my vision. I always thought it fucking brings out the worst in people. Well, yeah, you, you're seeing it first time while you're sober, while you're trying to work and do a job. I hate that it makes people different as well. I hate them people. Do you know, like, say if you're a quiet person and then all of a sudden you get a drink inside and you just become a knobhead. Like, That's always the way. I fucking hate them. Because the thing is, if I have a drink, I... I don't know. Like, I'm, I, I, can, I, know, I know my limit. Like I can have if I was to have a few like right now, I'd probably have two beers and I'd be on the floor. But 
I used mm. to be like, I used to know I can drink. Okay. And to the point where I was going, oh, we're happy. I'm having a good time. And I'd go, right, now you're at this point, stop drinking. Because you're happy and you're having a good time. You carry it on anymore, then your head will start feeling dizzy. And then you'll want and then you'll want to be sick and then you'll want to go home. And then you'll buy a kebab on the way home and throw it in the bin outside before you even get in the house. <laughs> so See what I went, the odd occasion I would go out and get drunk in town in my thirties for like people's birthdays or whatever. I would reach a certain point and I think, oh, my belly's feeling a bit weird. Water. I'd go up to the bar, get a pint of water, and I'd have a couple of them towards the end of the night. So I was I was quite okay going home. You were going home hydrated. Yeah, that that does help. (laughs) Then some food. So But I'd eat my food, I wouldn't fucking throw it in the bin. (laughs) So but no. Yeah. life life is strange. It, it is a weird one, isn't it? But then, yeah. So back to the point is, um, I don't, yeah, I don't like what things do to people in order to make them change and just turn them into a fucking asshole. No. But then I just don't. I don't think I like people anymore. I feel like that's my reason. I feel like I'm like, I don't need any more people in my life that are not already here. And if you, if even if you're here and you're not making the effort or adding any sort of interest or value then sorry you're still not needed is that is that dicky no it's it's uh it's called not having fucking hangers on people that you feel the need like well like when you have a wedding yeah and you invite people that you have to invite because they know such and such in their family but you don't talk to them ever but you have to invite them because then they'll feel left out otherwise. It's like that. It's like if I had a wedding now, fuck me, there wouldn't be many people there. <laughs> From my side anyway. You know. I yeah, I think it was the same at mine. I didn't have a lot of people there. I didn't need to though, because it wasn't It's not for everybody else, is it? Exactly. It's not for everybody else. Like and I'm not for everybody. My, m- me, ten years ago, I might have been a person for some for people, and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, no, I'm good to have around. He's good for this." But it doesn't mean I'm necessarily good for them now. No, your 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 need for them has changed, maybe. Yeah, that's like, I don't know. That's how I feel about it. Question for you, um, okay. random question. When you die. Would you rather die quick, like you know, I don't know, bus roller coaster crash, or you know, oh fuck that, or would you rather die slowly See. with an illness? So you can uh, feel safe and Mickey would be like, mm, only two, only, only two weeks left. <laughs> um, roller coaster crash, definitely not, because I could see my death. As you fall out of the fucking car and you're upside down in fucking 50 foot in the air. Okay, Fuck like, that. I don't know. And you're aiming for a fence. Don't think Earth so. Plane. And you're getting paled and split in half. Earth, don't Earth think plane. so. Struck by lightning. Well, you, you probably don't know. That's going to happen, really. I don't know. It's just like, what's the worst way to die? Yeah, but Eaten by a would lion. You, would you prefer it to be quick or slow? No matter how it Smashed by a bus or a train, that'd be you quick. Feel, you won't feel it. No, a like quarter of a second, if that, because your body wouldn't be attached anymore to feel the pain. So, like, do you think? Do you think that's why people do it? Like, obviously, train track jumpers is very common. Sadly, yeah. very common. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like that's why they put themselves in that situation where it's like it's gonna be quick? But obviously not obviously going against the obvious point, the fact they're being selfish. The train driver's probably never going to drive anymore, ever, a train. Yeah, because... my wife on that. She said that you get something, basically, you'll be paid off at that point. Yeah. You'll, never, you'll never be, 
you'll be paid off. You'll be basically taken off the job, but you'll be paid off. Yeah. And what about the 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 passengers on the platform that get covered in brain and toenails and spleen, things like that? They're they're not gonna fucking recover for quick, you, are they? You'll never unsee that, will you? No. You'll never, you'll never fucking unsee that. Wiping someone's forearm off your face, you know. I don't think like plane crash for me. That'd be terrifying because I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like this, I, I wouldn't be terrified. I'd be pissed off. I'd be <laughs> fucking livid because I'd be like, there is so many people right now that I want to literally call them a cunt. I want to ring them and call them a cunt, but I can't. One because I've got no signal. Two because my plane, gonna... my plane's falling out of the sky. And I, I think I, that that'd be a terrifying way to die. Because you know you're gonna die in about a minute, two minutes. And what if it what if it went all the way down and then all of a sudden pilot grabbed it and then it went up and then it went down? <laughs> You'd be like Stop fucking playing with me. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just just fucking give it to me. I, yeah. yeah, I like I don't know. No, thanks. Like, I don't know if, if I'd wanna do it quick or slow. Dying in my sleep would be lovely. I don't know. I d see I'd I always think that. I always go, oh, but then what if you had dream? What if you had like good things going on the next day? It'd be better than being run over. I always used to hate the thought of being run over when it's raining and you get laying on the <laughs> on the road, all fucking wet and cold. Kind of like a kind of like a one of them. Do you know those ripped footballs on a wet day in the face? Yeah, slap it or your or your thigh. Everyone's had one of them. Everyone's had a mm. ripped football hit them in the face on a wet day. It's like yeah. a rite of passage of life. It's like, if that's happened to you, you're going to be fine. You yeah, know, that's fine. Been, Don't worry about it. Listen, if you've been... One, if you've shit yourself, pissed yourself, or you've been hit with a fucking football, you'll be all right. You're going to get through most things. Yeah, done all them. But, I don't, yeah, I don't know. See, I don't know if I'd... I think... Problem is, he was dying slowly. He's, I'd just be a bit like waiting, and that would that would be like a bit rubbish. Because, <laughs> come on, fucking hell! Like, have you, have you? Obviously, you know you've had family members pass away, but have you watched somebody deteriorate, like from an illness, and then just die? Without seeing them die, yeah, my nan got dementia and she went downhill I would say fast it was a couple of years but every time we'd go see, visit her in the home she was worse so if you call it that then yeah they I don't see, physically see advert, her die the new advert for dementia is like somebody with dementia doesn't just die once they die multiple times yeah yeah every day because they know less and less every day and that is I wouldn't want to lose my marbles. I wouldn't want to fucking lose. I wouldn't. There's there's two things I don't want. Three things. I don't want a stroke because that scares me. I don't want motor neurone disease when your body starts shutting down part by part because that's fucking awful. And I've forgotten the third thing that we were just talking about. Fucking hell, I'm old. What are we talking about? When dementia. <laughs> dementia, that's it. I wouldn't want to get dementia and be scared of everything and everybody and not only remember things from like my 20s mm -hmm. but the thing that confuses me the fact that you can there's so many things they can do with technology and science and that but they can't get rid of dementia like you'd think whatever goes wrong in the brain surely they might be able to fix it by using but then again elon musk was trying to try something out wasn't he with electrodes and putting a neuro link or something in i don't know what he was going to use it for i saw it the other day but i know i've read about it like last year saying no he was going to do the eye the eye thing the eye transplant so blind people will be able to see that's it yeah. Yeah, so he connects like this vision thing up to the nerves in the in the brain and back of the eyes, and these cameras would see for the brain. So technically, you would be able to see what the cameras are seeing. Can you imagine so what good, that feels like? Can you imagine good on that? Elon Musk. Can you imagine what that feels like? Just to be um, be able to like 
go through you've never seen anything to one day you open you just open your eyes and it's like you'd be scared I, I think I think you'd be horrified for most yeah. of them but you'd be like oh if this is it take them back take them back <laughs> No, but I think people that were that did have sight and then they lost their sight, that would be good for them. Because mm. you wouldn't know any any different. These would just be replaced by electronic things. The brain wouldn't know any different because it'd do the exact same job, probably a better job than these would be. Mm. And maybe when you go to sleep, you turn them off and charge them. <laughs> I, I, I think obviously it's all I think it, your brain and all that, like obviously dementia's horrible and mirror neuron and cancer and all, they're all horrible things they're all horrible things that eventually are going to affect both yeah. of us however I hope not that's that's my thing is I can never get past the inevitable I'm like I don't want to believe it and I'm sure everybody else before me doesn't want to believe it but then I guess that's why we we're talking about obviously why with the way we live our lives and who we are as individuals yeah, yeah. The more and more, like I said, I don't give a shit and I'll do what I want and I'll live and have fun and try and make as happy as life as possible is for that reason. Is because it's the only thing I can physically control about life is what I choose to do with it. Yeah. So who I choose to spend it with, who I choose to talk to, who I choose not to talk to, who I, you know, who I keep on my mental block list. But it's all it's all on you right yeah so according to statistics yeah either you or me is going to get cancer it'll that's be me shit. I'll, it'll be me because I worry too much fucking shit that's why you need to eat all lots of vegetables less processed food because back in the old days cancer wasn't a thing it's everything that's additives preservatives all these fucking weird chemicals that are added to food luckily we're, we're quite lucky because the same food in england and america yeah i saw a tiktok the other day they were comparing the ingredients on the back of packaging for like certain foods and and sweets and things like that america's got so massive list england has like three or four things so as we don't like what's in our food but go to america you're fucked so you know, Do you know what that will that will give me my experience of America is from the moment I landed in America from any piece of food that I ate anything anything I ate for the whole three weeks I was there gave me the shits everything did everything there wasn't one thing that didn't give me the shits I had yeah. literal I had diarrhea for two weeks because cane cane syrup cane sugar cane syrup. Corn put, syrup. Corn syrup. Corn they, syrup. They put that on. It's in everything. That's really bad. That's worse it, than sugar. It is literally in everything. Yeah. Like, I remember we went to um famous yes. restaurant called Buffalo Wild Wings. All right. Yeah. And the moment I ate the food, the literally the moment I'd literally like, I'd, I'd get these chicken tender things. I'd have like three of them. By the time I'd finished the second one, my stomach would go, blub, blub, and that was it. I was in the bog for an, uh, half an hour. It was the worst feeling. I was like, there is nothing to eat here that's considered healthy. There isn't. See, when... I can't remember what, what I was eating. When I went Vegas, and I was there for a week, we didn't eat out at any restaurants because we didn't have enough money, to be fair. And we'd reached, like, day... I think day four out of the seven or eight we were there and we were like, right, we need to budget for food <laughs> three times a day. We didn't have anything from the hotel. We didn't go to any buffets. We would, what did we do? We went to the local shop, you know, on the strip <laughs> and just like a supermarket and we were buying like bread, uh, pepperoni pepperoni salami things like that and we were keeping them in our hotel and we would make food to take out just for the fact one obviously because we were running out of money and we had to budget what was left and then two because the prices were really expensive in vegas for all these 
all you can eat buffets and stuff it ain't fucking cheap in vegas believe me nothing is cheap in vegas and like you say is that was probably a safer option than going to these places like you went to mm-hmm. where you have no idea what's actually in your food how they cook your food i mean i didn't get a bad belly out there but oh fuck me i used to, well we did do we went to the uh i'll tell a lie we kept going to new york casino and having the hot dogs and and chips because they were quite cheap and you can't really go wrong with a hot dog a roll and fucking chips can you really that was quite good and onions and that so that was that wasn't too bad to be fair we had that a couple of times but you know yeah not the best going to america and their drinks as well their drinks are full of shit fucking yeah that's why we give you that's why they give you ultimate refills and fucking i know if you if you watch again tiktok again love tiktok sometimes they had um fanta in england and america and it's not even the same color oh, no, it's, not. It's, it's like a red orange a in blood, america blood yeah and ours is cool. like a pale orange in england yeah my wife loves it she loves the fanta I absolutely loves the fanta because it is I, she's like it's just pure sugar. shit <laughs> it is just oh. pure it's pure sugar no nah. for me now i can't drink a drink that ain't a diet drink no, give me aspartame all day fucking long, rat poison, whatever you want to call it. I don't give a fuck. You ain't putting sugar in my body. <laughs> Not that way, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it, well, so, what's I saying? Oh, did you, um, did you get the bacon, by the way? Did you see a picture? No. Oh, uh, yeah, I bought, I bought some bacon, £2.85. I'm going to say it wasn't worth it. The amount of bacon in there is not what I expect to pay for nearly three fucking pounds, to be fair. But I did buy it. I did cover it in mayo and I did eat it. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good option if you want to waste some money. I do agree with that. Two eighty five for me. I'd say that's about a one pound fifty job for me. I suppose if you cooked bacon in the oven and like overcooked it like to the point where it's crispy, then you could pretty much savour it. You could save yeah, it, it. It's only like that big. It's only about four inches long. And then if you bought two packs of bacon, maybe three, depends on where you buy your bacon, you could fucking have like 40 rashes for that price and so, cook it. You know, I know it's a convenience. That's why it's like that. I've got a little little thing that I've been experimenting with is keto muffins. Now, okay. okay. A keto muffin is is savoury. It's not sweet, no, yeah, but yeah. it's basically you get um get a muffin tin, yeah, and you get eggs, sliced bacon, cheese, yeah, like salt, pepper, mix it all, put it in the muffin tin, put it in the yeah. oven for like C- half an hour, yeah, and they just come out like little soft, squidgy, cheesy muffins. And you know what? They are They're like so- baby omelets, aren't they? Yeah, but they're so filling. I have like two of them, and I'm like, oh, I can't eat now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh I'm, I'm, you know, that was enough for me. Do you know what? I am struggling now. I've reached my five months, and the weekend thing is still happening. I'm still not eating carbs really in the week, if I can help it. But it maybe it's the time of year. I am really struggling to to not batch cook food like chilies shepherd's pies curries in the evenings pasta bakes just so i'm fed up food. i'm yeah. fed up of going leaving work every day like i i pre-cook my my work food for like two or three days at a time so i only have to go twice a week to go get that but depending on where i am after work and that i quite often leave work Go to Tesco and buy food for that night. Now it can range from three pounds to five pounds. I normally buy the cheesy burgers uh, with broccoli, and that's it. Or I'll buy chicken and broccoli, or pork loins and broccoli for dinner every day. And I was thinking yesterday, I was thinking, fuck's sake, I'm pissed off. I was thinking maybe what I'll. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just. You know, you reach that stage where you think it's the fat coming back. I don't feel 
light anymore. I mean, I haven't weighed myself or measured myself for like five weeks now. And because I've not changed anything, it's still the same diet every week. Nothing's changed, the same days, etc. But I just think I'm a bit pissed off now. You reach a point where you, I don't know if it gets boring, but you just think, oh. So what I might do, I might keep my work food the same. So just meat and veg and coffee at work. So that'll be fine. So I won't feel bloated or anything. And then in the evening, let's say twice a week, cook a chili, cook a pasta bake, a shepherd's pie, and I have the same meal for a couple of days. Because I'll still be getting good food. I won't be sh eating like crisps and all that shit. So I'm sort of on that wavelength at the moment. I'm a bit, I'm, I'm really struggling. What if you was to, rather than continue what you're doing, what if you was to... I'm not caloric deficit. Switch it, no. switch it up. No, not calorie deficit, because I don't know how many calories are in what you eat a day. I mean, I eat, I can eat a lot of fatty shit. I mean, it might not be that much, as opposed, if, because I'm not eating what as much. To have, what if you used to have... Like you said, you'd have your lunch. You wouldn't eat. You'd wake up in the morning, have coffee, wouldn't eat till lunchtime yeah. at work. Get home and have a proper meal, a meal that you want. Like that's what I'm, like that's what I'm talking about. And then be like, well, do you know what? If it, you know, if it comes to seven o'clock and I fancy a fucking, I don't know, a biscuit. Like I'm not gonna say no. I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far. I'd have the meal. Like replace the meat and veg meal with mm. a nice home cooked meal. I think. Do you know? What, do you know what I find on keto is the fact that food just doesn't seem like attractive. That's good because food is only fuel. Once you like, get that, you're fine. It doesn't seem like like I could be sat there watching telly. Like I will be in about half an hour. And I'll be like, you know, I could, oh, I could go to the cupboard now. And I'll be like, well, you can have, you can have a couple of snack attacks. You can have, uh, you can have some nuts, or you can have, you know, like I've got these, I like these things called um, churillos, where it's basically chorizo and spicy cheese wrapped around. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> have that. It's a better option. I'm, More fat, I'm, I'm, but. Yeah, but I'll have like two of them yeah. and go. Yeah, I'm not going to be asked for anything else because it's all boring. So then I'm like, my body shuts down and goes, "Well, leave it then. If it's boring, don't have it." That's what I mean. So many times I think, "Oh, I could just eat that there," because I've got a bag next to me with stuff left over from my weekend that I went ghost hunting just to keep me awake and not die. So I have. I have my bowl. Corn cocktail crisps. I ate five of them on the way home on Saturday morning, Sunday morning at fucking 4 a.m. Corn cocktail crisps. Crispy barbecue coated peanuts. Love them. They're Love fucking them. heaven, they are. What else have I got? Corn cocktail crisps. I did have chocolate in there, so they're, they're sat there, and I thought, the other day I thought, oh, I could just eat that now, but then I don't, and I'm thinking, the next when I wake up the next morning, I'm thinking I'm so happy I didn't because I'd feel like ugh. It's true, so isn't it? That feeling is true. He's, he's, that yes. feeling is real. He's, yes, very real. It's feeling. Whereas my now, my thing is now is I'm struggling with, and I know I got this from you because you were very good at it when you first did keto. Is when you're out of the house and say if you're mm. at a restaurant. And you can order what you want, like, but at the same time you go, no, you can't, like, just because you're out, the same rules apply. It yeah. is a little person in your head going, do oh, it, yeah, do it. You, you keep looking at those chips, mate, but you ain't having them. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm like, you know, okay, fine, fuck it. Like, I opted last, <laughs> last week, I had a, I had a sweet potato, just like sweet potato mash. Mm, nice. And even that made me feel a bit guilty hmm. and I was like no no sweet potato mash is fine like you're, you're fine um, and I was like nah I feel a bit feel a bit guilty about that it's weird no it's, it's it's normal 
because you want to like if we never ate chocolate crisps or that shit anymore our bodies would be so much healthier and a lot of people would benefit from cutting out so much crap that we do you know unintentionally eat every day and there'd be a lot less d diseases around as well i think because there are people moan about keto and caveman diet but it is a clean i think it's a clean diet you lose weight you you don't feel sluggish you lose your appetite you don't feel fat as much and you have more energy you know it's only the cravings that you get now and again that fuck it up yeah it is literally unfortunately yeah it is that moment of it's that moment of going mm. oh that would be nice and then you action it and then you do it and then you're like hold on a second you didn't have to do it you didn't have to because do you know like now we have we have a takeaway my mind goes to first of all it goes to financial guilt because i'm like yeah a takeaway is not cheap anymore. A takeaway is not the 15 quid it used to be. A takeaway now is like 35, 40 quid for like a couple of people. Like Yes, yeah. We had we had family coming around last week. And when family come around, I try and either batch cook something big mm -hmm. or we'll order. Like the go-to normally is KFC because you can get a lot for your money. But I was like, well, I'm sick of getting KFC. And I thought, well, what can we get for everybody that everybody could eat? And I thought, well, it's not that expensive. Let's go to the chippy, right? <sighs> we put, listen to this, right? We put three large chips, okay? Okay, yeah. Eight sausages, right? Four large cod, a gravy, a mushy peas, and a curry sauce. Yeah, that was it. That's all we put in the order, right? Guess how much? Large chips are about four quid, so twelve pound on that. Sausages maybe two fifty each. I and mean, do you have eight of them? No, depends where you go. I don't know. Thirty quid, thirty-five, hundred and three pound. Did you give it back? <laughs> didn't, didn't do it. Didn't order it. Oh, where's this from? Fucking hell! This is just from our local chippy on um, on just a proper just. And it's just a fish and chip shop. It's nothing else. It's not like he does burgers and everything else. It's literally just a fish and chip shop. It was it was four pound fifty per sausage. Oh uh, yeah, and you got cod. I bet cod's at least ten quid each, each yeah. bit. It was it was I was like, I was like I, just, I said I was like I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So then we went for um, we went for Domino's, and it was basically, ugh. I know, I'm not, I can't really, you know, I had these chicken kicker things and they were all right to say the least, but we ordered a lot and we got, and we maybe got, we got six pizzas plus eight sides and then with a, with a 50% off code, it worked out to be like 60 quid. So a lot of the code. <laughs> yeah, it was like 50% off code. So I was like, oh, I don't care. All right. But it's expensive. It's not yeah. cheap to order food anymore. It's not cheap to go out for food. No. No, I'd, I would rather... I Like, Saturday night, I look forward to going... Like, if I can, if I can get to Iceland, I'm obsessed with, like, their frozen chickens. Like, the chicken, like chicken strips and chicken balls and all that stuff. The hash browns with cathedral cheese in the middle. Oh. Cathedral City cheese in the hash browns. Oh, the little spicy cheese bites. Spend about 12 quid on them. I have about four, about four Saturdays worth of food. Four Good. meals. That's fucking brilliant. Do you not like, like... Go on. Yeah, about 16 quid, something like that. My guilty pleasure is duck spring rolls. Yeah. That's Can you my... buy them, though? Can you buy them? I can't eat them at the moment, no. No, like made and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you can buy them made from Iceland. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Dark spring rolls. Um, where, uh, <clears throat> I'm just Basically. trying to get great. I'm getting trying to be really creative with what I can eat, what I can have. Yeah. And I'm testing everything out. What again? Like you said, what makes me feel bloated? What doesn't? You know what? You mm. know what? 
what food sits well with me. Like, thing is, a lot of things that involve egg, but it's just not for just for pure gas. A few days of eggs is not good for anybody. <laughs> it, no. I love the fact I love the fact that you can have eggs on keto and stuff, and you can have scrambled egg and poached eggs and fried boiled eggs. Boiled eggs are amazing with salt and mayo on. Oh, yeah, but <laughs> the gas that comes from eggs and your shit stinks. To be fair, I don't really get wind from that. I get it. I get wind from all my veg, Brussels and broccoli and cabbage and. That that brings some gas, <laughs> releases the beast. But yeah, the gas, the pure yes. gas. Yeah. So yeah. But yeah, it is what it is. It's difficult though to to plan your food. It is everyone is always trying to trying to improve themselves, eat better. But yeah, if I had an ice near me, I think the nearest one for me is Sixfields, or. St. Peter's Way, where Argus is, personally, mm. or even maybe Wellingborough Town Centre, maybe is closer for me Parking, than Six Years One. Parking at Wellingborough is a nightmare, isn't it? Huh? I have one literally down the road from me. So, yeah, that's just a bit further than Wellingborough Town Centre. I, the, the thing is, local to me, I've got. So we've got MS, Waitrose, Asda. Iceland, and then a little bit for oh, and a little. Yeah, all See, I've within, got, I've all got shop, the Yeah, I've got supermarkets near me, but but apparently they're putting M and S at Riverside. The home base was. They're splitting in half. One side's going to be M and S, and I thought, oh, the food, the food part of the lakes is really good. Mm-hmm. And then I can't remember what they're putting in the other side. Um, but. Yeah. Do you know what? I was having this conversation earlier. Mountain yeah. Warehouse, I think. Or it's already oh, yeah. there, I don't know. I was having this conversation earlier, and it's only because we were there. We were at Marks and Spencer's today. And I was saying, the older I get, the more I get Marks and Spencer's. The appeal. <laughs> the, honestly, I was looking at clothes in Marks and Spencer's earlier going, that's really nice, that. You asked Niall 10 years ago. <laughs> Would Grand you wear leg. any? Would you wear anything from Marks and Spencers? Fuck no. Marks and Sparks. I was looking at a jumper in there, and I think because I wanted, I want, do you know, like a long sleeve sort of t-shirt jumper with a collar. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking I want one of them, like to wear a pair of jeans. You know, be quite nice. Look savvy. Um, you know, I'm thinking that'd be quite nice. Look, seeing one in Marks and Spencers, like that is perfect. But then you walk around the food bit, and the food's nice. The pricing mm. is not what people think. It isn't mental expensive. It's not. You could you could go like obviously Waitrose is like the king of expensive food, but if you could go to maybe some even some Aston and certain certain Tesco foods as well, they aren't that much different because no. a lot the food that Marks and Spencer sells that I really like is like the meal deal packet stuff. Mm. So you've got like the meal deal. Not necessarily um, like microwave meals, but they have meals made, don't they? And you can buy sides and specials and puddings and mains, and you can buy them in like meal deals. They're what quite. They're so quite if you good. get a meal for two people, right? And you get normally the meal is you get a main, a side, a dessert, and drinks for twelve quid. Yeah, so that's twenty-four for two people. No. That that whole that oh. split for two people. Oh, okay. For the dining for two people, that's what it's dining for two. Oh uh, yes, yeah. Tesco did that, but they're they're finer stuff. Some of that stuff's expensive though. So yeah. like you say, yeah, it probably won't be much different to to M and S. So but the, the, it was funny because I was like, I get it, I get Marks and Spencer's. The, the coffee's quite nice. The clothes, I'm liking some of the clothes now. You get a nice clientele in Marks and Spencers. Yes, you don't get the fucks that you get in all the other shops. You're not getting people pulling clothes off shelves, and it just doesn't look a mess. You know, I went for I went for a piss. The toilets were clean. Clean. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. And I'm like, hold on a second. This is why the older generation that I've always known are coming to m and because they don't like you little dickheads out there. They no. want a bit. They want something of their own. 
And I think M and S are their own caliber of people. I believe Marks and Spencer's people are people that have always wanted to be posh, but just and their their their, their time to feel posh is when they're in Marks and Spencer's. Because I feel posh when I'm in Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, that's nice. That's lovely. Yeah. Oh, We'll I went in there the, the lakes the other week and I went to get I went something for a meal or something for a night time. I ended up going upstairs for a quick look and bought a coat. <laughs> it's like fuck's sake. Oh, you see? Yeah. Rich. And now you're like, I don't care if it's from Marks and Spencer's. I feel high class. No, it's gonna... good. I wore it ghost hunting over my hoodie and that. I wore it to Scotland on the island the other week. So there you go. Now, look, we're converted to M and S. Old fucks. On a final note of this episode, this is a very, very serious matter. But since Niall has been doing his diet, he has now understood what the power of mayonnaise can do to flavour. Mayonnaise packs a punch when flavour's boring. It's just, it's sold, sold. Bow down to the mad majestic power of mayonnaise <laughs> it's got the different flavour people and on that note people thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Dads, Lads and Kebabs a great show and we'll probably just wrap up here and on that lovely kind note if you don't like people just stop talking to them mm-hmm. it's, okay to, it's okay to be quiet yeah. and in the words of me just say deuces and fuck off <laughs> <laughs>